Happy New Year YouTube, Rhino Dynamite here, and welcome back to another Bachman HO Scale Model Review. And this time I've got something really special. This is my very first Spectrum model, and even better, it's a discontinued product. I was very lucky to get it. This is Kansas City Southern number 220. It's a very big and beautiful steam locomotive, and it's a 2102, nicknamed Santa Fe. And this is a very beautiful model, I gotta say, and very well detailed. Let's have a closer look. Here's the front coupler. And there's this little detail right here. It can move up and down. And that there's the cow catcher or the snow plow, whatever you want to call it. Here's the steam powered air pumps on the front. And there's number 220. And here's the headlamp. Of course, it turns on when the model runs. Oh, and I forgot to mention this is a DCC model. But I don't have a DCC controller. With a DCC controller, you can turn on the headlamp and turn it off. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll get a DCC controller and I'll do some demonstrations with this thing. And there's the number on the side of the lamp. Here's the bell, and it moves. Ding! There's the front leading wheels. Very big cylinders. And look at all those connecting rods. Nice details. All that pipe work and stuff. And there's KCS, Kansas City Southern. And here's the tender, number 220. Right here is the builder's plate. Get a little closer. There's the number on the side of the dome. This is actually one of the sandboxes, really. Let's kind of rotate her around to the other side. And get some details on the other side, which slightly has a bit more little details. Very realistic when it moves. And just look at that huge gap between the boiler and the frames. Some steam engines earn the nicknames spaceships because of that. Let's have a little look at the top here. All these handrails and pipe detail. Like I said, this right here, this is the this is a sandbox dome. You can tell because those pipes that lead down. They go right by the drive wheels. So if the and if the wheels slip, it'll squirt sand and give the trains traction. It creates friction so they can get up steep hills. Or if the rails are icy. Now that there is the main steam dome. And there's the little whistle. And there's the other sand dome. And 
this here is the firebox. That's where the fire is. There's some more pipe details. And that there is the trailing wheels that support the back weight. A little bit fittings right there. Here's the cab roof, and those holes are vents that help cool the crew down. Let's have a closer look at the cab. As you can see in there, there's a crew in there. Nice little figures. That, that makes mo lots more realism. And there's the coupling between the engine and the tender. And it has two holes so you can make the tender closer or further away. Depending on how tight your curves are. Another look at the tender. Nice riveting detail. Now this is a very special tender. Instead of burning coal, this engine burns oil. Because you can tell there's no coal. Yep. It's an... The fuel can be either wood or coal or oil. And if you look here, this thing here, this is a doghouse. Now the purpose of the doghouse is this is where this engine can have to, if the train has to make a non-stop journey an extra crew will be resting in here and then they can swap out when the other crew gets tired and they can have a rest and so on so this is a so this is where the extra crew are housed until they're needed there's the water filling cap to refill the tender there's the rear tail lamp with the number of course Here's the rear coupling, and just like at the front, this thing has a detail that moves. See? And there's the number again. If you run the model in reverse, the tail lamp will turn on. Now, why don't we have a little close look of inside the cab? I'll just, uh, I'll just uh, unhook the tender a bit, move it away a bit. And there's the inside. A bit of detail here and there. That crew member there, that's that there'd be the fireman, the one who tends to the fire and works the controls on that side. And that one right there would be the driver. And they're both sitting on seats. part where the controls are on the firebox, which is also the rear of the boiler, this is called the back head. And right there is the firebox opening. That's where the fire is. Yep, you've got to agree. This is a very big and very well nice detailed model. Now, without further ado, 
What do you say we put her on the track and run her? Let's go. Now before we begin, I would like to point out that the real Kansas City Southern number 220 was built by Baldwin in 1919 and then was acquired by Kansas City Southern in 1942. Sadly, in between 1951 and 52, the engine was scrapped. It would have been nice if it had been saved from the cutter's torch. But at least I have this beautiful model of it. And the real engine will never be forgotten. Now let's fire her up.
Well, what did you all think of that? Very smooth running. Well, I hope you all had fun watching this video as I had making it. Especially, like I said at the beginning, this is my very first ever Spectrum model. And even better, it's a discontinued model. But Bachman always says there is a possibility that stuff they discontinue will make a comeback. We'll have to wait and see what the future brings. Anyway, let's hope this will be a much better year. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year, everyone. Rhino Dynamite, out.